mo we hear a motion to open the open the meeting of the uh, bylaw review committee. So it is uh, on, th on Thursday at, at, at May 23rd at 3.12 p.m. So I do hear a motion to call order to open the meeting. So moved. Second. Okay. All, of, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. No, number one, uh, number two on the agenda is re to review and discussion of the following new and proposed amendments to the town general and zoning bylaw bylaws review of matters presented. Votes may be taken. So, so let's see if we will uh, we will uh, town will vote to amend article. Nine of the stormwater management bylaw of the general laws of the town of Akushnet, and sh as shown in Appendix A, or take any other action thereon, thereon, or in relation thereto. Okay. Mm -hmm. The floor is over. You want to make a motion to, uh, uh, you know, the discussion. You know, to start to open the discussion on this. Uh, by law. Sure. Mr. Hinkley. Uh, thank you, Mr. Alcroft. Uh, we've had extensive conversations with the Planning Board, uh, Conservation, uh, Paul and Planning Clerk's Office, um, and the engineering firm that put this together for us. They used a lot of our older bylaw and just adapted it, made it more comprehensive to protect the residents of the town. Um, I want to say thanks to Mr. Francois and Mr. Zendis from Planning and Conservation. They put a lot of effort into this to make sure that it fit the town's needs. Um, we went through this. I did speak with the engineering firm that put it together. They did leave a sentence in that was supposed to be stricken. Um, so I would, I don't know if you guys have reference numbers on yours, but there is Article 3, Section 1, Applicability. Uh, section B, line one. Let's find that. Let me see. Article five, you say? Article three. Article it says three. stormwater management and land land disturbance. Um, yep, that page. Yep. That's part three. That's yep. Article three. We're going down to section B of that. And it's the first line of section B. Currently reads, any activity that will disturb an area less than 40,000 square feet provided that is not part of a larger common development plan or for any large scale ground mounted solar photovoltaic installations. Um, the large scale ground mounted solar voltaic installations shouldn't be in there. So I'd like to make a motion to change line one in Article 3, Stormwater Management and Land Disturbance, Section 1, Part B, Line 1, to read, any activity that will disturb an area less than 40,000 square, 40, square feet provided that it is not part of a larger common development plan, period. So striking or for any large scale ground mounted solar voltaic installations. You making that? A that motion? is a motion. I'll second the motion for discussion. Does this w question does this weaken the scope of, of this, you know, this this whole plan by by taking out the uh, the large scale uh, gram, ground mounted solar photovoltaic uh, installations? Does it, it weaken? It actually strengthens it. So. By putting it in there, because this is actually, if you read the line B, it says the following activities are exempt from the provisions of Section 1A. So by having that in there, if it's a ground-mounted, large-scale solar volt photovoltaic installation, right. <laughs> it's actually exempt from a stormwater permit. We don't want to give exemptions to those large scales because of past history. Yes. We want to make sure that the solar fields are required to do proper stormwater procedure. So by removing that line, it actually strengthens the bylaw and gives the town much more oversight on the process. And more, and more protection yep. over the residents. Correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Is a motion in order to accept this? Oh, you may yeah, I made the motion. You seconded it for okay. discussion. I guess we can vote on oh. changing the language to that. Oh, well. 
Okay. So just for a little bit of background, sure. um, the reason that we're making these changes to the stormwater bylaw are truly for the benefit of the town. Correct. Okay, and the protection 100%. of the town. Yep. And, you know, it's not to, it's not meant to hurt any developers or any one coming in that wants to build a home um, because that of course has always been one Correct. of the biggest issues yeah so most of this um, it really breaks down there was a lot of discrepancy on who would the stormwater authority actually was right by rights it's the planning board yeah. the planning bo board a few years ago voted to authorize the conservation commission to enforce the stormwater bylaw so there was a lot of back and forth and there's a lot of projects that got approved when they probably shouldn't have went to the wrong board but because the authority wasn't designated specifically right. in on paper um a lot we basically a lot of things went forward that should have had stormwater permits that didn't mm -hmm. ultimately as you know just like today we're having some flooding issues mm -hmm. anytime any project is done in town we have to make sure that if it's a significant size that it's not going to directly affect the neighbor right. or even down the road a half a mile so most of this is just safeguards to make sure that anything that would involve a drastic stormwater plan yeah. goes in front of the proper boards so they can put their expertise to it to make sure that it's done correctly and they can enforce it needed Right, but not to attack any developers we're not discouraging developers but if there is development we want to make sure that it's done right it's done properly yep. right and it's a, and it protects the the, 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 the neighbors and Correct. the groundwater and yep. the right. and the runoff yeah it's <laughs> right. 100% right okay. yep. it's great well I'll ask for a motion to move, move the question mm -hmm. Mr. Hinckley, we'd like to make that motion to move the, move the question to for a vote. Oh, you made the, yeah. Yeah, it okay, yeah, so, so move the so 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 discussion. Okay. Sure. So I'd like to hear a now motion to move. move. Yeah, so, so moved on the motion. Okay, Set. second. Okay. Shall we have a roll call vote or just? Yeah, just, okay. yeah, okay. Just keep, keep it safe and important, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. I'm a yes. And I'm a yes. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chairman, as far as I'm concerned with the rest of this, discussing it with all the people that were involved, uh, once again, Mr. Francois with the Planning Board, Mr. Resendiz with Conservation, and uh, Dave Devinian at the time with Planning, also with the Board of Health, they put a lot of work into this, and um, I, I want to thank them for really putting some time and effort and some thoughtfulness into this. And I'd make a motion to approve this to send to town meeting for a vote okay. with the most recent sorry. change to the bylaw I have a question of procedure mm -hmm. when it goes to the t uh, to the uh, town meeting for a vote mm -hmm. does the does there any um, indication how the bylaw review uh, voted on it I, I don't ever see that and do you have to include that when you submit to the Attorney General you know to changes that the bylaw you know com committee had reviewed it and voted on it is there any record uh, that's presented to the town meeting or to the att Attorney General's office as far as I that? know our town charter says that bylaws have to be reviewed by the Commission uh, co the committee but I'm not entirely sure um, I would have to let you know for sure because I know last year when we did a bylaw review it wasn't mentioned in the warrant right that we Correct. did that that's right. it is not a requirement okay yes it is not a requirement under for the Attorney General's office when it goes to approval okay. um, I think it's to make to ensure that there's another set of eyes um, looking at it um, right for another another board of commission so but it should be recorded somehow maybe in the in the selectman's recommendation that it should be that this was you know that, that would be what well, right. we're here for and nobody right right it, it, exactly. I think that question was raised by another member prior you know, yeah yeah and the board of selectmen 
in previously they've taken it under advisement when they make their decision for it to to be put on the warrant but um, so I, I think they acknowledge it in their meetings um, but it's not required for town meeting okay. yeah we did mention it last year at a regular board of selectmen meeting right. whether anybody watched it or not is a different story but <laughs> um, it was mentioned in the meeting that it had seen bylaw review and was passed back to the board of selectmen but at town meeting we didn't actually mention it okay right. Right. well mr hinkley's made a motion to accept it you know uh, uh, i don't know if you second, second. it okay. yeah well, I'll yeah. ask for a vote. Maybe we'll do a roll call again for, sure. the, okay. for the record. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I'm a guess. Yes. And I'm a yes. Okay, okay. thank okay. you. Okay, unanimous. Any other business before this board? Any complaints, ma'am? <laughs> no. We completed the agenda? No. <laughs> uh, do we have a date for the next meeting before we vote to, you know, for a moment? Uh, no, um, where th that would be if we would were to continue this meeting, but our next meeting probably won't be now until the fall. Okay. Okay, the next town meeting, if there's going to be any bylaw changes, which I'm pleading that there is not any more because I have the presidential election, so I, that's I doubt there will busy. be, but okay. we, just in case we'll try to make it smooth. Okay. <laughs> I'm Thanks. not for, I'm not expecting any, so Okay. But okay. All right, then I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Okay. I'm second. All of all yep. in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.